tree I was sitting on when I tackled up in my last video. Oh, it's a decent fish. decent fish. <laughs> That's a fantastic. Oh, my goodness. It's hard to make that out in the GoPro, but that's a cracking truck. Go. Stunning fish. It's about two pound, I reckon. Let's get this guy away. Whoops, there he goes. <laughs> Cheerio, pal. What's up, guys? This is Sean, Southside Fly Fishing here, and you join me on the banks of the River Clyde. It's uh, late March, it's an uh, early spring day, um, the weather's beautiful, the sun's shining, there's a warmth in the air. Uh, the whole Clyde Valley is starting to come alive and there's even one or two olives hatching, um, which is which bodes well for the season to come. But um, to be honest, it's been uh, difficult to truly enjoy and embrace everything that the river has to offer today. As we all know, there's a, a kind of spectre looming over the world at the moment with um, this virus which is wreaking havoc everywhere and I was in two minds about filming today because although you know I absolutely love filming um, it can be a bit of a chore it can be a bit of a pain and I'm not sure if this is the last time that I'll be able to fish the river for a number of weeks um, things being as they are elsewhere we're expecting at any moment the whole country to uh, go into lockdown and people to be um, effectively com uh, confined to their homes so it was a bit of a strange day today and I was feeling quite uh, low levels of motivation um, and then I caught that fish that you will have seen um, in the introduction, that beautiful Clyde brown trout and um, you know without wanting to be all kind of <laughs> right on and uh, 
new age vegan about it. Um, it kind of gave me a, a fresh perspective on the day and uh, maybe on the situation as well. So I decided to um, leave the heavy camera um, in the bag, decided to get my phone out, get the um, GoPro out and do a bit of quick and dirty B-roll just so that I've got um, something to um, cut together to make a film. And um, it's kind of got me thinking, you know, um, obviously we um, have to be guided by the best available medical advice because this virus which is sweeping the world is a nasty, nasty piece of work and we owe it to ourselves and our families and um, strangers actually, the people that we share communities with um, to make sure that we stay safe and healthy and that we don't do anything that puts anyone, you know, ourselves or others um, in jeopardy. But what also concerns me is that, you know, as human beings, we don't do well when we're um, confined indoors and when we're living with high levels of stress and anxiety. And um, although we obviously need to follow these stringent measures to um, keep the virus at bay for as long as possible, my concern is all of the secondary stuff that happens when, um, you know, when you encourage people to stay in their homes and, uh, and distance themselves from, from other people. And today, you know, I've had the opportunity to walk for miles along the bank of the River Clyde. I'll let you in on a little secret. If you want to enjoy it at its best, you really have to get out and walk. Um, and so I've had fantastic exercise. You know, I feel I can, I've been breathing in the fresh air. I can feel my lungs starting to open. Um, living in a northern clime as well in Scotland can tell from my pasty skin that we don't see a lot of vitamin D in the winter and so uh, today the sun's been shining and it's been an opportunity for me to stock up on my vitamin D which is so important for my health at a time like this and you know beyond just the physical exercise that fishing is involved for me today there's being out in nature and just being able to soak up this environment and this atmosphere and this beauty as mother nature starts to um, come to life in the spring and there's so much research now that tells us that being out in nature spending time in nature is so good for us it's good for our uh, blood pressure it's good for our stress and anxiety levels we feel healthier happier and so it's so important that we take the opportunities for as long as we possibly can to get outside and to get into nature and fly fishing for me is the best possible way of spending quiet contemplative meditative time the sounds of water the birds singing in the trees it's just a magical experience and so um, what I want to do is just, um, you know, give my, my tuppence worth um, on the situation and really for as long as possible, I know that most of the folk that watch these videos are fellow anglers and I want to encourage you for as long as possible and providing doing so doesn't put you in harm's way or jeopardise the health and well-being of your family and uh, members of your community. Take the opportunity while we still can to get outside and to experience nature and to see the river and, and the valley coming to life and um, to stand in the water if that's your particular um, if, if that's your particular passion and uh, to cast a line to trout um, and to feel the magic of the line going tight and appreciate nature at its best because who knows we might not be able to do that for much longer so um, I might end the video here. I'm going to do a little bit more fishing. I'm not sure if I film it, if I catch anything decent, I'll obviously turn the GoPro on. Um, but um, until the next video, whenever that happens to be, um, stay safe, look after yourselves, look after one another and uh, tight lines.